Yeah. Over there. Yes. yes. So below the red soil, the gray soil you see is layer number two. Right. Oh, that's De layer two. Okay. Layer two, dated okay. back 1.75 million years ago. Uh -huh. And the red soil is layer number three, okay. which dated back 1.2 million years ago. Mm -hmm. So layer number three, which is red, is a unique layer here in the gorge because it was eroded from Gorongoro Highlands and it became deposited here by water erosion. Okay. So on top of it, there are missing layers, number four and the number five because of water erosion. Number four dated back 800,000 years ago. Number five dated back 150,000 years ago. Thickness of it, but it is dated 2 million right. years ago. Number okay. two, 1.75 million years ago. Number three, 1.2 million but years ago. that's a ago. major eruption. Yeah. I mean, that's a yeah. big eruption yeah. area. Yeah. Okay. So as you go upward, sure. there is a decreasement of the number. Right. Yeah. Right. And the, the last layer, 150,000 years ago, mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, Professor Wilhelm Katwinko, I, I mean Professor Hans Reck, back to German later, in 1928, mm -hmm. Dr. Louis Leakey visited Berlin Museum. Uh -huh. So from there, it uh -huh. made the interest for him to thought more about the old Dupai Gorge. Okay. Okay. Thinking on, if there was a lake, maybe there was a life for hominid. Mm -hmm. So in 1931, Dr. Louis Leakey came here finding for hominid information. Mm -hmm. So in 1935, Mary joined him. Mm -hmm. So Mary was an archaeologist student. Mm -hmm. Because of working together with Louis Leakey, she became the wife of Louis Leakey. Mm -hmm. So they researched on this area for 28 years without any hominid information. But they were not given up because they were collecting stone tools which encouraged them to continue okay. with their research, hoping to get a hominid discovery later. Mm -hmm. So lucky enough, on July 17, 1959, is when they discover the skull of L.A. hominid, mm -hmm. where we are going now. Okay. So the skull was dated back 1.75 million years ago and it was given three names all the names meaning the same thing the first name was australopithecus boisei australopithecus was a genus name consists mm -hmm. of two words australo means south pithecus was an ape so the hominid was ape-like and the, the name Boisei was given to the hominid because Boisei was a man from Oxford University who funded Louis Leakey to conduct the research over here. <laughs> so his name was given to the hominid as a way of honoring him. Mm -hmm. right. The second name was Zinjanthropus. Zinj was an ancient Arabic word which means East Africa and the Anthropus was a Greek word which means man. So the hominid was from people of East Africa. And the third name was Australopithecus robustus. Mm -hmm. It was robustus because it was having the char characteristics of the recent gorilla, locomoting on four limbs. Mm -hmm. Very small brain size for 500 cubic centimeters. Mm -hmm. And he, also it was having sagittal cresty on the top of the skull, as well as massive jaw and the large cheeky teeth, which enabled the hominid to crack the nuts. So due to having okay. that ability, later on, Mary nicknamed the hominid as Nutcracker Man. Nutcracker <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay. So it was found in layer number one. So it was vegetarian. 95% of the hominid diet depend on plants and 5% mm -hmm. depend on meat. 
So it means the hominidus here during the ancient lake, enjoying the life with other wadi animals. Mm -hmm. So also, on a same layer where Zinjanthropus was found, Homo habilis also found. So Homo habilis was dated back 1.6 million years ago with a brain size of 600 cubic centimeters. So Homo habilis was the one which we do refer as the first hominid as tool maker. He prepared the stone tools of low technology known as old one technology. Simple tools not sharp because of the brain average that supported the hominid to think to such extent. Mm -hmm. So also, Homo habilis was having opposable thumbs mm -hmm. and the index fingers which supported it to catch those stone tools which were used during hunting and gathering. Mm -hmm. But remember also Homo habilis was locomoting on mm -hmm. two limbs because of the bending structure of the body. In coming to such a reason, in conclusion, Zinjanthropus and the Homo habilis were the hominid of coexistence. But remember, they are different hominids, mm -hmm. though they found them in a first layer, number one. Okay. Number two, maybe there was a life for hominid. Mm -hmm. So in 1931, Dr. Louis Leakey came here finding for hominid information. They were not given up because they were collecting stone tools which encouraged them to continue okay. with their research, hoping to get a hominid discovery later. Mm -hmm. So, five million years ago, found in layer number two, mm -hmm. so it accompanied with a lot of stone tools, but which are advanced than that of Homo habilis because of greater brain size for 900 cubic centimeters. Mm -hmm. So what Homo erectus do also, he accompanied with a lot of an ashes. So was the one who discovered fire and he started to eat cooked food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he, it was an upright man who migrated from here to outside Africa because of population pressure and the climatical changes here in Africa. And he coming to the last hominid of Homo erectus ended the journey in Chile, South America. And from there, there was a great journey made by a Japanese man. His name was Dr. Sekino. He ride a bicycle, passing through the points where hominid were migrating from 1993 to 2002 is when he arrived here at Old Dupai. Mm -hmm. And inside, hope you have seen the bicycle yeah. and the shoes. Okay, it belongs to Dr. Sekino as okay. part of history to remember him. For them at yes. the time, and the population was already increased. And the, also, when you're looking on a layer number three, which is red, nothing was obtained over layer number three because soil nature having a lot of iron materials so it is not good for preserving prehistoric remains mm -hmm. but layer number one two four and five have a lot of collection because volcanic ash over here is rich in calcium and the potassium minerals which are essential for preserving prehistoric okay. remains okay okay Number five, there was a collection of Homo sapiens. So Homo sapiens was a primitive <coughs> man. A man before <coughs> us with a brain size of 1,200 cubic centimeters. So Homo sapiens was dated back 400,000 years ago. What Homo sapiens did, he just <coughs> make modifications of the stone tools which were present at the time. I mean, he just resharpened the stone tools of Homo erectus. Also, he, Homo sapiens just <coughs> left a lot of paintings about okay. stone tools mm -hmm. and the animals of that time. Okay. And in the research south of the gorge, 45 kilometers. Yeah. So footprints belongs to Australopithecus afarensis, dated back 3.6 million years ago. 
and he, according to scientists that is another hominid branch not the same to over here which was found here because the hominid over lightly was already upright locomoting on two limbs the first one over here was locomoting by four limbs four legs. so oh. there was a volcanic eruption even before over here so that is another hominid branch not the same to over here but here is where the evolution of the man started because after disappearance of australopithecus boisei followed by genus homo homo habilis homo erectus homo sapiens me and you homo sapiens sapiens so that's why for many people this is the area as a human evolution mm. except that of Lytoli. <coughs> because yep. the generation of Lytoli ended on a first stage of human evolution mm -hmm. and also there is another findings from ethiopia which appears in the same geological time era to that of Lytoli. so it was a female creature very short for one meter tall the skeleton was dated back 3.5 million years ago and it belongs to Australopithecus afarensis to that of Lytoli because it appears in the same geological time era mm -hmm. to that of Lytoli. And according to scientists, the skeleton of Ethiopia was an extinct one because family generation stopped it to her simply because after many discoveries they did not found the same hominid look like that of Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. And in later, the researchers nicknamed it the hominid as Lucy. Mm -hmm. it was Lucy because they were celebrating by singing to the Beatles song called Lucy, Lucy in, the in the Sky, sky with, with Diamonds. diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's so, right. Coming to the gorge, the area is still active for archaeological research. Okay. And now there are three groups from Tanzania. There is University of Dar es Salaam. Okay. The, the right. second one is USA, University of California at Berkeley, at Berkeley Rutgers, yes. Indiana, mm -hmm. University College of London. Okay. And the third group is Spain, huh. University of Complutense in Madrid. Madrid. So okay. the research is going on every year on a month of june july and the august because weather condition is favoring them it's not so much heat no rain for at all and the another reason is because many students are doing it for the year academic sure. excellence yes. 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 yeah <laughs> Yeah. What you see here is an actual site where the skull was excavated. The skull of Australopithecus boisei. Australo means south. Pithecus was an egg. So the hominid was a flight. Boisei was a man who funded a research to conduct research over here. The second name was Zinj Anthropus. Zinj is an ancient Arabic word, which means East Africa. And the Anthropus was a Greek word, which means man. So the hominid is from people of East Africa. It was found by Mary Leakey, July 17, 1959. Yeah, so... As you see, this is a sample which accompanied with the skull. Okay. And behind of you, there is a beacon, which is OH6, 1959. So over there, what was found was a lower jaw of a homo habilis. Here is a full, full cranium or skull of Zinjian thropas. So different hominids was found here. Zinjanthropus OH5, Old Dupai Hominid 5, Homo habilis, Old Dupai Hominid 6 was found there.
two different two different hominids yeah. zinjanthropus and homo habilis found in layer number one both in yeah, yeah. Uh, okay this one is for giraffe okay yeah sometimes it's appear to that of buffalo this one yeah yeah so yeah. Basalt is that the, the black is rock yeah. is basalt. Okay. So layer number one is that is ending to such kind of line. You right. see? Okay. That is what we call tough one here. The end of layer number one. Because it have different tufts. Tough one A, B, C, D, E, F. The oh, last okay. one. So that's okay. above layer it, one. Yeah. Above oh. it is layer number two. Yeah. So why Mary concentrated to this area? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was my question. Yeah. Why here? <laughs> you know, versus here? all the other places, right? Yeah. So why this here? this is a way, is area where expulsion of raw materials come on uh, top of the layer, uh -huh. whereby a lot of them were stone tools. Mm -hmm. So stone tools over here encouraged them to concentrate to this area, thinking on. The one who made stone tools is a hominid, not okay. an animal. Mm -hmm. Agreed. So stone tools. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Imagination life sure. of yeah. two million years ago, because no one was here. Right. <laughs> yeah, so this is an artistic work. So we do refer to the lake as this one. Yeah. Uh -huh. Contains a lot of wild animals aside it, right. as well as hominids. Yes. The skull appears like this one. Mm -hmm. Can you come close? Sure. So the skull appears like this one. Uh -huh. And the, as I told you, it was having gorilla's characteristics. Uh -huh. So we do refer to this specimen. So this uh -huh. is a gorilla, mm -hmm. but it, the brain size of the first skull or hominy which was found here, here was having gorilla's characteristics. 500 cubic centimeters locomoting on four limbs yeah so dated back the total yeah dated back 1.75 million years ago so after disappearance of australopithecus boisei was followed by genus homo homo habilis so homo habilis was a tool maker using the stone tools to skin the animal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they are just trying also to be upright, but not locomoting on two limbs. Mm -hmm. So after this appearance of this one, evolved the Homo erectus. So the landscape of Homo erectus started to change. So he migrated from here to outside Africa because of population pressure and the climatical changes. Here they already killed their animal, bringing to their homestead, mm -hmm. sharing what they were hunted, mm -hmm. living in a primitive life. 